In today's video, we will discuss a cycle menu. What is its purpose, um, how it can help you, and how your team can create that for your facility. So what is a cycle menu? A cycle menu is a list of foods that your facility might serve, and on certain days, those foods probably repeat. For example, Taco Tuesday. So a cycle menu might serve within a certain time period, let's say 30 days or a week or three days, and it repeats certain foods on certain days, like Taco Tuesday. So Taco Tuesday might be an example where every Tuesday the facility might serve tacos for that time period. Cycle menus are used in cafeteria style feeding or an inpatient hospital type feeding or a catering menu, etc. So it can be used in many different industries and it can meet needs for different population and different demographic data. Now, how do you create a cycle menu? So there are many different options on creating a cycle menu. You have to decide what is your goal. If the goal of your menu is to see nutrient profiles for your overall menu, you should consider a nutrition analysis tool, such as Nutritionist Pro. So for example, if you look at the screen that I'm showing you here, you can see that if you are serving a hospital inpatient or a school cafeteria, then you can determine nutrient goals for that population. For example, if you are serving a hospital inpatient, you might need to create a low-sodium menu, a low-fat menu, or a diabetic-friendly menu, and a tool like this will allow you to see all of your foods in a menu and see how it compares against those goals. If you are serving a school population like elementary school or high school, you might need to uh, see if there are certain if your menu meets certain vitamins and minerals, for example, maybe high calcium or high vitamin C. And a tool like this will allow you again to see overall how your menu is doing for certain goals. You can set whatever goal is right for your population. Now, it is possible to create a menu like this on a Word or an Excel file. However, your team will spend a lot of hours creating manually this type of menu. And especially if you're trying to compare nutrient data for that, for those list of foods. It is quite cumbersome to do that on an Excel file, especially if your menu changes, you know, by season or by different goals that might change or the demographic population might change. Um, and you might maybe change certain foods. So it's very, it'll become very difficult over time to manage that in an Excel or Word file. So look at a tool like this, check it out, see if this is something that could be helpful for your facility, like Nutritionist Pro, and see if you can implement something like this to help create cycle menus faster and more efficiently. I have provided additional details in my video below, so check the description box for that. And I thank you for your time in listening to me today.